Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 back again with my first thoughts on the G.I. Joe movie. I'm here with my buddy, tell him your YouTube username. Um, it is... You don't know your own YouTube username? Yeah, I do. Oh, Mitsugio. M-I-T-S-U-G-E-O-I. -I. Mitsugio. And we just got done watching the midnight release of Rise of Cobra. Ew. So, Die Hard Joe fan. You pretty much know what I've told you. <laughs> I know what he's filled me in. Oh. So your first thoughts, go. I don't know. From what I've actually, and you probably shocked, I've listened to most of the things you said, so I could I tell what was right and what was wrong. And there was a lot of things wrong with it, but uh, as a movie itself, it was pretty good. And they got some of the stuff right, kind of, a Granted. little bit. <laughs> um, it was a solidly fun movie. Um, it wasn't the greatest G.I. Joe movie. But the script I read originally was far, far worse than what they actually did. Um, major complaints for you? Well, the whole, uh, what's her, Baroness thing, that was really not needed. I could probably cut out some time and add in some more stuff. Um, I didn't like how, some of the CG wasn't the best CG I've seen lately. And that kind of bothered me because I figured that, you know, they could have did better than that. Yeah, definitely the whole underwater city towards the end, that was, um... That looked like something. PlayStation 2 cutscene graphics, as I said. Yeah. Definitely not measuring that. A the, lot of them computer graphics in this movie. It seems like every scene they found some way to put something in there that wasn't needed. Yeah. Um, anything else? I don't know. I like... I don't, I don't know. I like Cobra Commander before he changed his voice. Cause I thought, because I thought they were going to use that voice that he had as Cobra yeah. Commander. And um, we just switched it. Major spoiler, so turn off the video here if you don't want the movie oh. spoiled. The Doctor, who of course becomes Cobra Commander, his voice is much, much better as the Doctor than it is as Cobra Commander. A lot better. His voice sounds really fake and like a put on... It does in the beginning when he's the Doctor, but it also sounds kind of cool and like cartoony badass. Yeah. I don't know, I thought that wasn't going to like his mask, because I've seen that, the pictures of it you showed me of it. It, it works, I guess. It's okay. Destro's... Ooh. Destro looks like somebody wrapped tinfoil around his, <laughs> his head. His head's a large rock with eyes in the mouth. It, and he just did that line so poorly, Now I have become my ancestor. You could have just, you know, put a mask over your horribly disfigured face, and it would have did the same thing. Zartan, um, he showed up... The whole movie, like... Because the first, all the way from the beginning through the pit invasion scene took about 30 minutes. I wasn't thrilled with that. That felt... The whole movie up until the Paris scene feels really rushed and really fast. And like you're not getting your money's worth. Um... Accelerated suits, you said, were never in the thing. No. But they did add something to the movie. They made it too long, though. Like, they could have took that out and added some more stuff. That was... Oh well, yeah, like, the action scenes all needed to be stretched out by about ten more minutes. Um, ninja fight. Yes. There were two ninja fights, and those took very the, small. And every time, all the action spliced in, so you never get one solid ninja fight. Oh, I didn't like how like what was this movie rated? PG thirteen. Well, that's probably they didn't show no blood or gore in the whole thing. Storm Shadow was bleeding a little towards the a end. A little bit, but like I didn't like how like every time they went to kill somebody, like it would go, and then right before it hit them, it like the camera would cut away. So you could never actually see the carnage going on. I need to see that carnage. A lot of um, little nods to Joe fans. I'm knowing is half the battles in there. Realistic hair, kung fu grip. That's all in there. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, watch out for movie douchebags. Yeah. <laughs> we had like one of the ultra fans sitting beside us, and it's it like, was. It's not carnage. <laughs> so you can't go by the cartoons. Of course you can't. But you don't have to point it out when I say Zartan's an Australian. Cartoon says he is. Cartoon says he, he, he really is a You want to get in on this? He's doing a video for YouTube we're about gonna, the movie. Apparently, we're going to splice this part out. Sure, why the hell not? <laughs> get another cool? opinion in here. I have no idea how much he knows about Joe. So he will be like a completely. Just look in the camera and tell him what you thought about the movie. Um, the movie was a lot of action. A lot of CG. Pretty good movie, by the way. Except for, you know, some of the storyline could have been, I guess you say, done a little bit better. The movie could have been drawn out a little bit more, too. Too damn short. Yeah, the movie overall was like an hour 40 minutes. It should have been 
a lot longer. They should have drawn it out just a little bit more. And Snake's eyes are badass. That goes without saying. He had big lips. And he did not have big lips. Big lips. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, I'm about to take to the house, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy we'll it. See you tomorrow. So, um, <laughs> J Train 997, um, it's definitely not Transformers too bad. Mm -hmm. They did, they took something and they took, made it their own, but they didn't do it in a way that was completely raping the fans. It, it's a fun movie. That, that is my definition of it. It's a fun movie. Maybe they could have did better, but the way they did it, at least it was good. <laughs> there were a lot of subtle nods towards, um, different areas of the comics and the cartoons. Um, no rock is shipwreck. I thought that was a confirmed thing. There's a shipwreck figure, and we did not get shipwreck at all. Oh, yeah, was there wasn't. Because um, Brendan Fraser's in it as Sergeant yeah. Stone, which I called. But um, no shipwreck at all. Okay, who's the dude... Which they filmed. They admit they filmed a scene with shipwreck, but it wasn't in there. Okay, the dude that was, like, during the Snake Eyes and the, um... The Snake, snake Eyes fighting um, Duke at the very beginning with the electric things. He was a famous guy. What was that guy? That was Brendan Fraser, Sergeant oh. Stone. So he was just in there for that one little scene. Yeah, basically, okay. Brandon Fraser got in because when Steven Summers got the okay, he was filming Mummy. Brandon Fraser's in Mummy. Oh, okay. Because I was wondering, I was like, he's a really famous guy. I forget his name, though. And then he was just in there for like a second. Because yeah. then... they said that they did film something with Shipwreck, but there's obviously nothing in there. No snow job either. Yeah, so overall, the movie felt really rushed in the beginning. It felt like they went through the whole invasion of the pit thing way too fast. Um, Ninja Fights I thought needed to be a bit longer because that's really their bread and butter and they didn't do those as well as they could have. Mm -hmm. Still, it's a fun movie. I would definitely go see it. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to see it again, but if I saw it was with a group of friends like, hey, we're going to go see a G.I. Joe, I wouldn't make an excuse not to go. Uh -huh. I saw the first Transformers four times when it first came out in theaters and I didn't even want, I got forced to play it, see it, but I could, if I had to see this movie, I could see it at least three more times without being angry. <laughs> oh, three more times, that's not much. <laughs> So, um, how long have we been going? Well, rating it on the scale to one to suck, and the first Transformers was pretty bad. Not as bad as the second Transformers, but not as good as it could have been. Yeah, we did a 22-part chat about how bad Transformers 2 was, so I'm not to open up a kettle of fish there. Um, on, on my scale, Transformers 2, like now, I think I gave it a 6 originally. I would get a 2 or a 3 now, which is, the think, the lowest I've ever given anything. This movie, mm, solid 7. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It was a definition of a fun movie. It didn't go too far away from the source material. It went a lot away from the source material. But it did it they in a respectable way. They kept some of the key way. stuff. Well, I'm just saying, no spoilers, but at the end... We already said there were going to be spoilers, so you can go ahead and Okay. <laughs> a snake in a... Well, a cobra in a um, wicker basket is it, not going to work. They have to figure out something new. <laughs> okay, spoiler. Um, again, warning, cut off the video. They catch Cobra Commander... And I don't like that. You don't, they have they, Do they ever catch Cobra Commander? In the cartoons and some in the books, but, you know, I just... For the end of the movie, I mean, Zartan's the president, and it's all set up, and I can buy that, that, you know, like your friend said, Zartan's just going to have a move to a prison where they can escape from. Still, I would rather have Cobra Commander going off to plot something. Yeah. How's he going to make his weather dominator? Eh, that's probably already made. <laughs> just waiting. Because they kept hitting around to, like... So you're gonna be the leader, Destro? It's like, no, you're not looking at the big picture. It's like, so, but he clearly wasn't planning for Cobra Commander to take over because he didn't know about it. Yeah. I wouldn't, yeah. I don't know. He's pretty a badass because he's just started, I, I liked how Cobra Commander didn't, or we running out of time. No, keep going. I, I like how C Cobra Commander, you know, he wasn't rushing to become leader. He was just, you know, doing it as time went by, you know. He's like, ah, oh, I'll become leader eventually. And then, like, everything happens, he's like, okay, time for me to take control. Inject your Destro, and, you know, I'm Cobra Commander. You will call me Commander. Overall, it's fun. Um, There's a lot of subtle nods to it. I definitely see it in theaters. When the DVD comes out, I may not buy it right away, but I'll still pick it up eventually. So this is JTrain997 with, say your name. Mitsugio. Nothing else? Just Mitsugio? No numbers? No, just Mitsugio. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh -huh. JTrain997 and I'll see you soon, YouTube. Uh...